section D problem 4 let's start you can start from the top lane create the base first I'll just uh, make the hole at the center first which is 18 mm now I'll just create a boundary Add the fillets on the left edge, it is 8 mm. On the right side, it is 12. At the bottom, it is 18 mm. And the last one, 42 over here. Okay, this is done. Now I can constrain this fillet with the circle, make concentric. Now just add all the other dimensions and constraints. This is horizontal. Also, first add these circles. This is 12. This is 8. Now this distance is given 48 and this distance is 82 this angle is 22 this is 18 this angle is 54 okay the sketch is constrained now you can extrude this is 8 mm now we can create reference planes for these two features on both sides of course we can create a plane here show the lines center lines select this one you can create this plane first now we'll create another plane 34 mm from the first plane in opposite direction that is the plane we need to sketch we don't need this plane so let's hide it let's go to sketch on this plane stretch it you can sketch the features the sketch now this dimension from the bottom is given as 48 this is uh, section DB we are currently making section DB this radius is 12 now this angle is 12 and the circle at the center which is also 12 in diameter the sketch is complete we can go to extrude this extrusion is on the right side of the plane so we have to flip dimension flip the direction the extrusion is 6 mm let's put 6 this is done we can have this plane so now let's create another plane this time perpendicular to this plane and another plane 34 mm from the previous plane we don't need this so we can hide and sketch on this plane stretch it this time we are making for section AA complete the sketch 
dimension this is 46 the radius is 8 angle is 16 and the circle is 8 we can extrude this time extrude on the left that is correct and 6 mm done yeah. we can hide this plane and the references so let's add the material aluminium 1060 alloy apply close let's check the mass 146.80 146.80 so this is correct so next section in the next video thank you